Good afternoon, everybody. So today I wanted to talk to you about what's defined as soul loss. And soul loss is defined as trauma that occurs that causes fragmentations to go on in your nervous system. So it's when an aspect of self has fragmented off due to a traumatic event and is now in a separate state that's divided from the totality. You can look at this state of soul loss as an ongoing mental loop through the whole nervous system and you can't move forward because it's not connected to our totality. So this takes place not only in our body, but our mind, our spirit, our physiology, our energy field, and our soul as well. It causes fragmentations to occur, which makes you not complete anymore, so to speak. And this is kind of like in dealing with trauma when you're dealing with aspects of narcissism and aspects of the injured empath that's recovering. So this would be an area of the nervous system that took all of the trauma, the brunt of the trauma, so the rest could continue. Uh, a piece of the network absorbs all of the shock of the trauma. The absorption of the shock causes it to fragment, and it in turn is fragmented from its totality. So an example would be like a glass cup. You drop the glass cup on the ground, it broke. And when you pick it up, there's a piece missing. That piece would be a fragmentation of the cup or of the glass. But you could still use it to drink. It still works, but it's not in its totality. It's separate from the totality. It's fragmented. So this, this could be, it's on a spectrum. So this type of trauma that causes soul loss is, is how it's defined. It's on a spectrum, just like everything else. So it could be rage issues that you have. Uh, unknown rage issues or having, uh, you know, absolute total numbness and dealing with situations where you should experience uh, more emotions and you're emotionless. It could be, you know, anything and everything in between. Unexplained deep guilt, unknown anxiety issues, deep paranoia. It could be, you know, these abandonment issues deep in your subconscious and within your subconscious that, you know, like when you talk about the narcissist or you talk about the empath that that's been injured, whatever, we all have dealt with some sort of uh, trauma. I think everybody out there in the world's dealt with some sort of trauma, but in the case of nar dealing with narcissism and having a narcissistic channel, I thought this was a good idea to go over because I want to see y'all get whole. And this is one way of maybe understanding it a little bit better, but it's where in the spirit, spiritual neurosis and the spirit mind body complex the whole complex because it's from an injured state that causes division within the network creating chaos okay where it was once in order now it causes chaos in the spectrum based on certain areas maybe of your life and it causes Division within the network creating chaos. And the opposite of chaos is unity or coherency, which is to stick together, order. So order is the opposite of chaos or wholeness, which is where you get the term holiness, which would be in your wholeness state, you would be in holiness. But now we're talking about you need God and Christ to get there. But they can have wholeness on a physical, on, on a legit psychological state so that's what i'm talking about right now but coherency is unity and order within the network and when you have fragmentation it causes chaos in the network within the network and it's the opposite of the order that is the rest of the network and it's kind of in its own loop and it's through the fragmentation, those fragmented pieces, those fragmented ways become a, a loop within themselves. And this network is opposite of that, where it is divided and separate. It's divided and cannot contribute to the totality or, or the whole. It cannot give you completeness when you have fragmentations. So we become less of ourselves, which is why it's called soul loss, so to speak. So... These aspects that are trapped in the state of soul loss have their uh, own viewpoints and attraction 
that are also contributing to our energy field or spirit. So you could have chaos with order from the nervous system and they all contribute. So this would contribute in a negative way to your aura or your energy field or your spirit or your soul. And so uh, symptoms would be traumatic events. They would be uh, that cause soulless traumatic events occur through shock. What causes fragmentation and division shock causes frozenness and it freezes your willpower to do anything and it creates the inability for you to move forward and if we are able to move forward it causes you to be injured right you're missing pieces because things have fragmented off and they're doing their own thing with their own attraction and it's negative attraction it's in a survival state of energy and it pushes the rest of ourselves on and forward that do know how to survive but they're not complete and do know how to manage without the other aspects of the spirit that were contributing to our totality initially and then the version of yourself that you get is kind of severed it's in it's a survival mode type of individual because it's not a whole individual so in creating wholeness would be everything in the complete network the body mind and spirit to be completely whole and it takes healing to become whole so soul loss is kind of defined as like trauma that has exceeded the ability of the nervous system or for the nervous system to process it okay and what happens is so literally it's too overwhelming for the body mind and spirit to process fully so this becomes trauma and it's kind of fractionated. So it's doing its own thing in its own loop and it's negative. And then you have your other network that has not absorbed the trauma and it's moving on without this fragmented piece. And it could be, it kind of makes you think of where, you know, parts of these, some individuals' minds are shut off on MRIs or PET scans. It's almost like they don't process and things like that. But whenever you get into being whole, you need the Lord to do that. So that's my, uh, that's one point that I want to put forth. But when you get into understanding how somebody becomes fractionated, it's, and this could be also subjective. This trauma could be subjective or objective. I mean, some cases it's subjective to where I think everybody would have the awareness if they were to view it as very traumatic. But in most cases, they're going to be subjective type trauma, which is your personal opinion or your own perception of what trauma is to you. Perceived trauma. And so that's not necessarily factual when it's subjective. That's your point of view, how you take it. So it's, it's depending on the spirit of the individual. So what may be very traumatic to you may not bother me at all, or I may be able to get through it and recover fine. So it just depends on every individual has a different spirit, mind, and body. And so this is the, the case with, with every individual. I'm not just talking about the narcissist, but to get wholeness, you have to, that's why you want to forgive people, even if it's, uh, you know, you don't want to hold on to things, even if it's definitely 100% wasn't your fault. Because if we don't forgive people, we carry this stuff and we need forgiveness two so on this is how things work and we will become corrupt if we cannot forgive people we will end up walking in ways like the narcissist that we see a lot of times where they've abandoned themselves and i think that's where you get that negative energy because negative energy and it's heavy is because negative energy pulls down because it's heavy if you can give me a like subscription and thumbs up until next time peace out